Yuanlong Ping is an agricultural scientist who was born in Beijing, China on September 7, 1930, of a poor farming family. He was born in the midst of a tumultuous and conflict-filled era of Chinese history. For the first 20 years of his life, China was embroiled in two major conflicts. The Chinese Civil War, which lasted from 1927 to 1949, costing 8 million lives, and the Second Sino-Japanese War, with a death toll exceeding 25 million. Given these conflicts in his formative years, Yuan Long Ping lived a relatively nomadic childhood, studying in Hunan, Chongqing, Hankou, and Nanjing. After the resolution of the bloody civil war, which saw the rise of Mao Zedong and the Communist Party of China, the Southwest Agricultural Institute was founded in 1950, and Yuan Long Ping attended in its inaugural year. He would graduate in 1953 and begin a career as a teacher at an agricultural school in Anjiang, Hunan province. All the while, agricultural practices in China were being transformed by the central government in favor of the pseudoscientific approaches of the Soviet Trofim Lysenko. The practices of Lysenko, who had formally banned any dissent to his works in the Soviet Union, included closer plant spacing, as he believed same species plants would not compete for nutrients, and deep plowing, which degraded soil quality of agricultural areas. The Great Leap Forward also called for the culling of the Eurasian tree sparrow en masse, as it was believed to eat grain from the fields. This failed policy resulted in a proliferation of locusts that destroyed many of the agricultural crops. These factors combined with poor weather in 1959 to plunge the country into a three-year famine from which 15 to 30 million people were estimated to have died as a result. The famine inspired Yuan Long Ping to attempt rice hybridization. A self-pollinating plant, many scientists of the time posited that heterosis could not be fixed in rice. Regardless, Yuan Long Ping began research on hybrid rice in 1964. He set out to find male sterile rice plants so he could begin to produce hybrid plants in large quantities. He succeeded in hybridizing his first cultivar, but it displayed no competitive advantage in the field. In 1970, Yuan Long Ping discovered a cytoplasmic male sterile plant in a wild rice population and named it WA, an abbreviation for wild rice with aborted pollen. He began crossing WA with different rice cultivars to attempt to pass male sterility to successive generations. The plants that came out male sterile were repeatedly backcrossed until a stable male sterile line was established. After an additional three years, he had devised a scheme for hybridization, including an A-line, or CMS line, that was a male sterile plant, crossed with a B-line, or maintainer line, male fertile plant. The cross of these two plants was then crossed with an R-line, or restorer line, that restored fertility, leading to a fertile hybrid plant. The result of the last cross in the scheme is the F1 hybrid, with improved vigor that is sown by the farmer. The following year, after a sum of 10 years of research, Yuan Long Ping successfully cultivated a variety of hybrid rice with a 20% increase in yield, boosting China to the world's leading rice producer and earning him the moniker, the father of hybrid rice. Hybrid varieties have since been adopted on 57% of all rice paddies in China and account for 65% of total rice yield. Hybrid varieties yield up to 7.2 tons per hectare, where an inbred line will produce 5.9 tons per hectare. As a result of this yield improvement, an estimated 60 to 70 million additional people can be fed in China using hybrid rice. In 1991, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization surveyed that 20% of the world's rice was produced on the 10% of land planted with Longping's hybrid variety. For his work in rice hybridization, Yuan Long Ping won the State Preeminent Science and Technology Award of China in 2000, the Wolf Prize in Agriculture, and the World Food Prize in 2004. Yuan Long Ping continues his efforts of breeding superior hybrid varieties and has consulted India, Myanmar, Vietnam, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, and the United States in the implementation of hybrid rice.